In this video, we're going to reveal all the pro tips to installing a vented cleanout. You want to be able to access your underground roof runoff system. You want to make sure that it's convenient and easy to do an inspection. If you want to flush it, you could push a garden hose through it. If you want to run a camera through it, you want to be able to have easy access. You want to put a vented cleanout that just has a door where you need no tools. You can access it. It's watertight. You want to mount your vented cleanout as low to the ground as possible. What's nice about this vented cleanout, it fits a 2x3 downspout or a 3x4 downspout. You take a 90 and you put a piece of dual wall pipe as a riser. You want to keep your vented cleanout boxed. Keep it boxed. When you're outside and you're installing your roof runoff system, you're going to have bags of parts, boxes of parts but keep each individual vented clean out boxed up. That way it will not get scratched, it will not get marked up. The bag that it comes in prevents it from sliding around during shipping in the cardboard box and dulling the finish. You want to measure twice and cut once. Make sure that you only cut as much off the downspout as is required to fit low to the ground. If you have a downspout that's bent, kinked, crimped, cut a few inches of it off. Once you determine your finished length of your downspout, you can now trim and cut the riser. Keep in mind if your roof runoff system ever settles, you can always switch out the riser to adjust the height. You want to slide the downspout up in the vented cleanout leaf filter until it hits the screen inside. Then you just slide it down and set it in the pipe. It couldn't be easier. There are no tools required or hardware that's necessary to installing this vented cleanout. It's a dry fit. It just slips on the downspout and then sets right down in the riser, the dual wall pipe riser. The dual wall pipe riser is smooth on the inside. It's like a Teflon pan. We want to keep up the velocity of the water. The fluid dynamics of this vented cleanout are second to none. We want to build our system to accommodate it, to complement it. Always tile tape at the 90. You put the dual wall riser in a 90, and then you want to tape that joint. Then you want to put that 90 and riser on your roof runoff system, the underground buried downspout pipe. Also tape that connection as well. It is not necessary to tile tape the connection where the vented cleanout sets down in the dual wall riser. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports our channel. And if you have any questions about this vented cleanout leaf filter, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.